All right, today I'm going to be showing you how to test your CMOS battery. It is your motherboard's battery. Um, its function is to hold um, settings in the BIOS uh, after the computer is turned off. Um, that is the function of this battery. Say, for example, your system time uh, in the BIOS wouldn't be held if there was no power to hold that uh, in there. So that's the function of this battery. It just holds basic very small amount of settings in the BIOS. Um, system time, uh, RAM timings, uh, you know, SATA configurations, RAID configurations, uh, things of those nature that you have set in the BIOS. Okay, um, all right, so we're gonna be testing uh, our CMOS battery to make sure that we have the correct voltage. Uh, on this, this particular battery, we need three volts in the battery. Um, this is a Biostar Mother A70U3P motherboard we're looking at. Um, as you can see, if you haven't located the battery already, it is on the bottom left over here. Um, and to remove, you can see there's a little tab um, holding the battery in place. It's off to this uh, side right here. So just push that off to the side and the battery flies out. Looks like it's spring loaded in there. Grab your battery out of there. Um, let's see, and uh, this battery, let's see, it's a model CR2032. Um, and this battery, we need three volts uh, or greater. But uh, we're looking for three volts. So anything, anything below three volts, change out this battery. Um, it's not holding its voltage right, so it won't be doing its job correctly. Okay, so we got our voltmeter. Uh, set your voltmeter to DC current um, that's in the range of 3 volts. Uh, so in this case, we got it set to uh, the 20 on DC current. Okay, um, now take your, uh, take your prongs. One goes on the rear of the battery, and the other one goes on the front of the battery. It's going to be tough making doing this video. Let's see if I can get this. Okay. As you can see, we got negative to negative, positive to positive. And we got 3.1 volts, so good enough. Good enough. We're uh, we're above we're above we're above our threshold of uh, three volts, so very good. Okay, um, so now you know your battery is tested and is good. And if it's bad, go out and buy a pack of these batteries. You can get them at Walmart. You can get them on eBay. You can get them pretty much everywhere. It should be less than ten dollars for a pack of them. And to reinstall, it's just the same as just get find that uh, find that little insert there, and just pop it back in, and that's it. You're done.